So now the nail is dry and I'm going to go back around with my small scissors a little so bit. So you want to make sure that you don't get any gel or glue on your scissors. If so, you want to um, go ahead and wash it off with water so that it doesn't hold. Now I'm purposely not cutting too close to the nail because I want to show you how the clippers work. So I, again, I just cut off the excess. And because the lace is going to be very close to your skin, I use clippers to be more precise and cutting off the excess. So I just hold down my skin and just go around it with the clippers. You want to be careful not to cut your nail underneath. So sometimes I look under my nail. And you just cut. Snip, snip, snip. Now, I did make a mistake and clip one of my nails on my real hand, not here. And what I had to do was just foul it, shape it a little bit. But you should be okay. And so when you're done doing that, all you do... So again, you just want to file your nail around the area. And let me show you what I did exactly to make sure that you get all the excess off. I took my foul with the... This is the really great side for the acrylic nail because your nails are going to harden. And you just go around your nail like so. And then I also buffed the top with the softer side of my file so that I could smooth around the edges. And I just gently file all of that off the top. And again, I really get down to the nitty gritty on the sides. And that is how you do the lace nail. Now these should last you a few days. And as long as you, really as long as you make sure that you glue down the lace very well then you should be okay but again if you don't secure those corners then the lace is going to start lifting after a day or so and i tried to do that on one of my nails and i can't remember which one it was that i left a piece hanging out because i think i tore it off while i was at work but it was one of them that i left a piece just to show you what it looks like because if you don't cover the lace with the glue then the then it starts to fray and you don't want that and fraying means that it starts unraveling and looking ra really raggedy so i hope you guys like this tutorial and if you have any questions don't hesitate to message me and i will talk to you soon thank you so much for watching bye